Hi, Jackson. It's Ketura. How have you been? Um, I know I've been texting and calling for quite a while now without getting any response. I honestly don't know why I keep calling. Well, Happy New Year, Jackson. New Year, new us? <laughs> or am I kidding? There can never be a new us. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I actually have a good explanation. And no, I'm not calling to rant about him. But I've got some pretty big news. <laughs> I moved on from him. And I know you've heard me say this like 10 times already, but this is for real. So let me tell you all about it. And oh, Jackson, this is our ultimate final call. I don't know. I guess I just realized that life is more than crying over a boy who doesn't give two shits about me. Isn't it strange how we are strangers again? One minute he was my everything, and then the next I totally forgot about him. It's crazy, Jackson, how one person can make you believe that you're worthless, and I think no one should have the power to make anyone feel that way, like ever. Jackson, I am now completely immersed in my being, and I enjoy my own company. Dude broke me so bad, I started loving myself. I eat well now. When I look in the mirror, I love what I see. I remember starving and wanting to lose weight because he used to call me fat when he was the one who wanted me first, and I've always been like this. I love food, and honestly, I love my body too. Screw whatever anyone has to say. No more trying to lose weight because of a boy. No more trying to change my appearance because of a boy. I no longer beautify myself for others. You know your girl is sexy and likes to look peng. I be dressing up for myself and the bad bitches too. I no longer invalidate my own feelings anymore. And I'm far from a people's pleaser now. I don't think all men are the same. Okay, I think a larger percentage of them are. But I've grown to understand that scum has no gender. Women are terrible too. But that doesn't mean I'll stop hating on men for a living. I guess I can't hate you though. And that's because I love you. My sweet, sweet boy. How's it possible that I said no to the sweetest person ever because of some playboy? I miss you so much, babes. <laughs> Life's not the same without you. I miss hanging out with you. All my friends are acting weird and I feel the need to isolate. Really? I miss going to parties with you, having fun with you. Okay, let me just you. So, I had a crush on two boys in the same friend group and they were both at this party. Well, I owe one an apology. The other can go to hell. They've probably had conversations about me. And to be honest, I really don't care. None of them compared to you. I got so drunk at this party that I started to think about you. It was so bad that I ended up breaking two bottles of alcohol and had to pay for it. Yikes. Life has been crazy, but life has not been majorly bad. You won't believe my sister got a brand new car. A flipping Benz and I'm now a passenger princess. I'm so happy for my sister. Her business is growing and she's happy, which automatically makes me happy. Tyre deserves all the best things in the world. I know if you were still alive, you would have probably patronized her without me asking you to. You do these things and then wonder how my standards are so high. Like you literally spoil me and then proceed to ask how I'm so spoiled. Like what are you doing? <laughs> my mornings are normally weird. Sometimes it's hard to get up. Sometimes I don't want to wake up to the reality of you not being here with me. My skin has been caring of late. I mean, my new skincare products are really expensive, so literally has no choice but to care. <laughs> I love journaling. Has to be one of my biggest escape. That's my daily planner, by the way. I love writing about you, and I would never write you wrong in all my books. I also love studying the Bible. Maybe if I learn more about God, I'll be able to understand why he took you away from me. The church is the only place I haven't gotten sad at. There is fullness of joy in the presence of God. I used to have a different perspective of love in the past, but now I know love is any and everything. I especially love spending time with my sisters. What's there not to love? 
lunch after church has to be my favorite thing ever and oh the pasta really slapped by the way i'll give it to me there are days i don't look like my problems i think one of my favorite things to do now is to go grocery shopping the supermarket is sexy attractive i mean it's the one place that has so many things <laughs> i love buying things for myself i love buying gifts for myself like randomly too i remember the necklace you bought for me i kind of regret losing it you always knew the right gifts to buy me and i'm still a sucker for drearies you taught me to give myself all the love i deserve in the world you taught me to love myself well the only things i love more than drearies are food and money I don't know food sure fills the void that people can't sometimes i stress eat and other times i don't even eat at all i remember when i first heard that you passed away i couldn't eat for days i just didn't feel like it i felt really numb back to friendships my gosh these bitches are so weird like everyone's trying to pull a little surprise on you like i literally knew you had bad attitude sarah <laughs> many people don't deserve to be called my friend i started a youtube channel and my subscribers are called kittens <sighs> oh boy are they obsessed with me i love filming for them while looking all pretty everything i do i do for them it's really nice having a community filled with love and admiration like literally they make me so happy they don't judge me they support me it's like they are turning me into a better woman like i open up a lot to them i share my experiences with them it's crazy because me of before would have never imagined you know talking that deeply with a bunch of strangers but look at where we are now <laughs> well i love 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 all my kittens so much and I started calling them Pookies too. Fair. I love reading. These are some of my favorite books. I am currently reading A Song Below Water. It's about black sirens and it's not a bad book. I am not done with it yet because honestly, it's, it's hard. My attention is just crazy and I get really distracted easily. But I'll be done soon. Sometimes I look up to the sky to feel you or make some sort of connection with you. I may be shameless, but would you be mad if I told you that I randomly remember him? It may be my biggest mistake, but he also taught me everything I shouldn't settle for in a relationship. Why did I ever make you go through so much stress to make me realize that I was too good for him? Oh yeah, that's true. I no longer use other people to get over certain people. I, I've been healing alone and intentionally, and it's been really helpful and crazy like staying alone isn't so bad after all it's actually quite badass i think it is um so there's a boy <laughs> who's been treating me really really nice but i feel like i'm probably going to self-sabotage i'm not so sure about it but i probably will i don't know just too good for me everyone keeps telling me that i need to let you go i need to make peace with you but i don't think i could ever get used to the idea of you being gone i'll never forget you jackson i love you now and forever <laughs> hi guys okay so if you're seeing me right now it means you've come to the end of the vlog <laughs> would i call it a vlog anyways if you don't know me my name is King Ketura. i'm a youtuber a video editor an influencer a writer a creative basically so i want to give you guys the explanation to the video that y'all just watched now so who is jackson jackson is my supposed dead best friend and you know is someone that ketura knew for a long time and feelings kind of like got in but she didn't end up being with him she said no to him for some other guy if you guys noticed how I kept on saying E, E, E for the guy who broke Ketura's heart, it's because I wanted to show how insignificant and how 
is not important at all so that's why i didn't bother to give that person a character so y'all already know that i'm a writer i know some of y'all will be like oh my god ketura are you okay who broke your heart like yes i am fine you guys it's just sometimes i get these ideas and i was trying to make it work i actually made a video like this back in 2021 when i was going through a very terrible outbreak i'm going to put the link in the description box so you guys can go and watch that one and compare it so i named that one love that felt like 17. i was actually going to write a book about it and i started the book but i did not finish because i was just like oh my gosh what am i doing but yeah i watched that video again like in this new year and i just felt so many emotions i was taken back to how i was as you know in 19 years old somebody who had just left a toxic relationship and i was like you know what let me do something similar but also very different so um you guys i'm fine nobody died i don't have a best friend that died um it's just my idea it's just in my world of imagination so i know you guys would like to ask oh ketura are you sure it's just your imagination some things felt real some things felt like you you know well honestly speaking everything is not my imagination i actually meant some things but i added spice to some other things when i was filming the video when i was like trying to put my voice over the um the clips and stuff i was like i really want this to be relatable i really want people to relate to the pain i really want people to feel not every time fun vlog fun <laughs> fun vlog fun vlog i really wanted people to get in touch with their emotions obviously you all know that i'm a mental health advocate so sometimes it's good to relate to certain things like this so i'm going to give you an instance of something that is not real and something that is real so the part where i mentioned that i was i used to try to lose weight because of a guy is not real at all i've never felt the need to lose weight for anybody not friend not family not a boy so that part is totally not real but i've seen so many ladies so many girls do that and i felt like i was putting myself in their shoes because obviously people do get body shamed even me people body shame me on a daily basis they call me fat they don't go to the gym oh, that's your business bitch i'm sexy but yeah i wanted to make it relatable so that's why i added that part so the part about the party when <laughs> when i went to a party and i was like oh i was drunk and i broke two bottles of alcohol that part is definitely real but it wasn't because i had anybody on my mind so another question is um was i thinking of anybody when i was you know filming when i was getting this piece together no nobody came to my mind actually y'all know i am very much single and um i've healed from all my at breaks i don't know if you've been watching me for a while you know that i keep on saying that i've never been in an adult relationship meaning i've never been in a relationship that that makes sense like all the nonsense i've been doing in the past those ones are just trauma nonsense like hey so yeah i feel like i've healed from all those people that did me dirty and i feel like god made me to meet those people so that i can know what i shouldn't accept so that i can know what i shouldn't settle for so i can know my standards basically so it's like those people just has through me so i will know that ah, ketura this is what you don't want this is what you shouldn't want you get so yeah so basically i wasn't thinking of anybody not one person that broke my heart in the past you know at the point i was actually trying to relate it to somebody but the person i was trying to relate it to is actually someone that it was my best friend and you know we kind of wanted to date but it kept on ruining the friendship so it's like every time we try to date like something will happen <laughs> and it was just proof that we were not meant to be so the part where i was like um i love you um but i said no to you know jackson that was because you know i was kind of i was kind of tilting towards my ex-best friend not my recent one my ex-best friend and yeah basically but nah it was just like one percent tilting <laughs> that ain't shit man so basically and yeah how did i get the name jackson so i just woke up one morning and i was like jackson 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 the name just kind of stuck to me i found out the name before i actually found out the plot like the script do you guys get so 
basically i think that's everything i want you guys to know don't worry guys i am not healing from any heartbreak if i was y'all would totally know or maybe not but basically i haven't been in a relationship for like over a year so i can say that my heart is in a good space literally so i wanted to just talk to you guys and just give you guys you know this little updates because i really don't want anybody to be worried about me i don't want anybody to be texting me oh my gosh that was too deep if you know ketura you know that ketura is too deep and this is just one of my writings hopefully i get comfortable enough to you know show you guys others to make it in a video form to just show you guys what goes on in this little brain of mine because Trust me, it's a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you can relate in any way, please, you know, just drop a comment section. I keep saying that my YouTube channel is a safe space and I hope you guys believe me. I am your friend. I am not a celebrity. Y'all can text me whenever. Y'all can talk to me. And yeah, that's basically it. So, Jackson, I moved on. Rest in peace, Jackson. Oh, also, the thumbnail, I had to ask my recent best friend, to actually text me so that's how this whole project came about is giving director and producer nyah, nyah, nyah. <laughs> okay guys i'll see y'all in my next video okay? i love you and don't forget to stay in check with your emotions don't forget that you're worth it never settle never settle never settle and remember that god loves you okay bye